everybody. So today I'm going to talk about the temporary phone worker program. There were some recently some changes about that. Uh, so stay tuned if you're in that situation, right? Or if you want to come to Canada as a temporary phone worker, stay tuned as well because uh, this would also pertain to you. So um, and just to give uh, a little bit background information, um, the temporary phone worker program had a rule uh, which was uh, known as the four years in, four years out uh, rule which means that a temporary foreign worker can only stay in Canada uh, a maximum of four years at a time and can renew after those four years, can renew uh, his um, work permit anymore. You have to leave Canada and stay outside of Canada for another four years before being allowed to return and to reapply for a work permit and a temporary foreign worker program, okay? Four years in, four years out. Uh, the big news is that uh, that rule of the four years in, four years out was scraped, no longer exists, effective immediately, okay? Uh, so that's really good news uh, to uh, uh, all of you on the, in Canada on a work permit and a temporary for a worker program. Uh, you won't have to leave Canada after four years, uh, you won't have that cap four years in Canada, four years outside Canada, uh, and all that. So, uh, I'm go just going to read uh, the news release from the official uh, website of the, of the government of Canada, the Canadian government. So, this uh, is the news release from the official website of the government of Canada. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you guys can check this news release for yourselves as well. So this news release, uh, this was released in December 13, 2016, so it was really recent, uh, states Government of Canada takes early action to improve the temporary foreign worker program. So let's see what are those improvements. Improving access to job opportunities for Canadians in creating the conditions for growth will help families in the middle class and those working hard to join it. That's why today, the Honorable John McCallum, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, and the Honorable Mary Ann Midchuck, Minister of Employment, Workforce Development and Labor, announced the first steps as part of the government's commitment to bring forward a suite of meaningful changes to make the temporary foreign worker program work for workers, for employers, and for the Canadian economy. These initial improvements are being taken now while the government continues to work on the development of a more comprehensive policy. So uh, these changes they made, that uh, they, they talk about here in the next uh, paragraph, are just initial improvements. So the government continues to work on, a, on, a, on the development of more comprehensive policies. So they continue to work uh, in some ch in changes and going to implement some changes in the future uh, regarding the temporary foreign worker program as well. These are just initial improvements, uh, first steps, as uh, they wrote here. So what are, what are those initial improvements? In order to prevent unnecessary hardship and instability for both workers and employers, the four-year cumulative duration rule will no longer apply to temporary foreign workers in Canada effective immediately. The cumulative duration rule, known as the 4-in, four 4-out four rule, was put in place in April 2011, limiting work for some temporary foreign workers in Canada to four years, who then became ineligible to work in Canada for the next four years. So until now, and since April 2011, there was a 4-in, 4-out rule, uh, which means that some temporary foreign workers and people who were in Canada under a work permit, and temporary for worker program, uh, they could only stay in Canada up to four years at a time, four years in a row. Then they had to leave Canada at the end of those four years. They couldn't renew the work permits anymore. Uh, and they had to stay in Canada. Uh, they had to stay outside of Canada, I mean, uh, for four years before being able to return to Canada, right? And um, uh, this four in, four out rule is scraped, effective immediately. This uh, rule no longer exists since December 13, 2016. This is the big change. Okay? 
For those temporary foreign workers who do not currently have access, the government is committed to further developing pathways to permanent residency so that eligible applicants are able to more fully contribute to Canadian society. Work on this issue continues. So the government uh, is no longer scraped this four in for out rule, but also is uh, looking into packed ways uh, to permit residency to temporary foreign workers. Uh, people who are in Canada under, uh, on a work permit and temporary foreign worker program uh, may be uh, able in the future to uh, apply for permanent residence to become permanent residents of Canada. Okay, and work on this issue continues. So it's still working on that. As part of our efforts to ensure that Canadians have first access to available job opportunities, the government will require low-wage employers, where appropriate, to advertise to more than one and up to four and the represented groups in the workforce, youth, persons with disabilities, indigenous people and newcomers. Employers will be advised when these changes are to come into effect. So, to compensate the fact that uh, the 4 in 4 out rule is scraped, uh, they, and to continue to ensure that uh, Canadians uh, still have first access to available job opportunities, uh, they're going to require employers from low-wage positions uh, to advertise specifically to more than one and up to four underrepresented groups, minority groups. Uh, in the workforce, such as youth, persons with disabilities, indigenous people, and newcomers. The government will maintain the cap on the proportion of low-wage temporary foreign workers that can be employed at a given work site at 20% for employers who access the program prior to June 20, 2014, and at 10% for new users of the program after that date. The exemption on the cap for seasonal industries, CKT temporary foreign workers for up to 180 days during the 2017 calendar year, will be extended until December 31, 2017. So the cap that uh, employers uh, who hire temporary foreign workers have to have of uh, a maximum of 20% of temporary foreign workers uh, in their workplace uh, if they access the, the temporary foreign worker program prior to June 20, 2014 and only 10% of temporary foreign workers in their workplace for uh, if they access the temporary foreign worker program after June 20, 2014, uh, you'll still be maintained. Okay. Uh, and they also talk about here of the extension of the this meeting this cap for seasonal industries uh, and they're referring uh, more specifically to um, agricultural industries who, uh, um, who often require uh, a large amount of temporary foreign workers. Uh, these early actions are in line with recommendations made by the Standing Committee on Human Resources, Skills and Social Development and Status of Persons with Disabilities, which undertook a study of the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. The government will table a full response to the Standing Committee's recommendations in the new year. Then there's here some quotes from both ministers. Um, the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship wrote, in many ways, uh, the four-year rule put a great deal of uncertainty and instability on both temporary workers and employers. We had the sense that it was an unnecessary burden on applicants and employers and also on officers who process applications. The HUMA hearings confirm it. We believe this important recommendation from the committee requires rapid action, which we are taking today. And the Minister of Employment, Workforce Development and Labor uh, said, Our government is committed to making the temporary foreign worker program work for our economy. That means ensuring job opportunities are made available to Canadians first, in particular to groups typically underrepresented in the labor market like Indigenous people. There's uh, also here the link for the that you. HUMA report on uh, about the temporary foreign worker program if uh, you want to read more in depth uh, about that as well so this is what I uh, wanted to talk to you to guys uh, guys today this uh, the four in and four out rule on the temporary foreign worker program uh, is scraped effective immediately uh, no longer exists uh, let me know what you guys think about these changes and uh, in the comment section below 